Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Caitlin, and today we're going to be talking about these lovely palettes right here. The first one that we're going to talk about is the Pirates of the Caribbean by La Rock eyeshadow palette. And I do have swatches that I will show you after we get done talking about it, but I'm not going to lie, they're not the best because they were literally all the way up my arm. But yeah. So the packaging looks like this, and it's got this really cute compass on the front, and it says treasure in the stars. I think it's really pretty. No sneeze. Maybe not. And I am like super, <laughs> I'm going to sneeze, sorry guys. I'm super excited for this movie to come out. I've seen all the other ones, and I love Pirates of the Caribbean. One of the really cool things about this, like on both sides it has writing. Over here it says guided by the stars. And then if you flip it over here, it says enchanted brilliance but it has this little pull out right here so you can open it and stick the face palette in there if you're smarter than me you can like that and just close it right up so that's a little bit better for travel because this palette is like the size of my head it's huge so i wouldn't recommend traveling with it but i suppose you could if you want to and that little detail right there is pretty cool but yeah so when you open it up, you get little protective sleeves that I already see right here. It just says La Rock Los Angeles on it. And it comes with two, four, six, eighteen shadows and a little mini eyeliner, which I thought was really cool because normally you get a brush and this one comes with an eyeliner. Here is all the shades, they're super pretty. And I will tell you right now that they perform on the eyes so much better than they do on the hands. They are on the hands, on the swatches. Like I'm wearing all on my eyes today. I have on Starry Night under the lash line, the blue, uh, Treasure on the Lid, and then Bones, Tail No Tails in the crease, and Arg in the other corner with a little bit of Menace, which you'll see in the tutorial in a little bit. And then I have um, Shiver Me on the brow bone in the inner corner. So that is all these shades, like all of on my eyes, and I think they're really pretty. But when you swatch them, they kind of look like washed out. But on the eyes, they're really vibrant and really pretty. So that is that. There's no writing on the mirror. I don't want to, like, you guys can see everything in my room right now. But, yeah. So it's really pretty. It's a really nice size mirror. I just don't, I think the palette's too big. But I really, really like it. So that is the palette. Then moving on to the face palette. Looks like this. It's got a really pretty stone right here and some stars. I don't know what constellation that's supposed to be. This is Verum Omnia Simul Astra. I probably butchered that, but it's some Latin maybe. I don't know. I probably should know that. It's probably obvious to anybody who's seen the movies, but I don't remember. And then on the inside, I'm going to show you another mirror. So sorry for blinding you. It's a really big mirror, and it says chart a course for the stars. You get six shades. You get three highlights a blush, a blush topper, and I'm calling this a bronzer, but it might be a blush for some people, but for me it's a bronzer. And I am wearing blush, bronzer, and highlight from this palette on my face. Here are the swatches for that. This first, dropping everything, this first one is called Fortune. Underneath that, right here, this golden one, it's like a rose gold, it's called Destin Destined. <laughs> this gold one is Star Reader. Then the bronzer or blush, whatever you want to use it for, over here is called Lost Soul. The blush is called Caribbean, or Caribbean, however you want to say it. And the blush topper, which could also be a highlight if you have deeper skin, is called Bold Spirit. And this palette's pretty good for travel. Like, you got three options for highlight, a blush, and a bronzer all in one. So I think this one's good for travel, but just this one's just really not. I mean, this is bigger than any makeup bag I own. But yeah, so... That's the palette, and I showed you the swatches. So now let's just go ahead and get into the tutorial. Okay, so here's all the swatches, and these are going to be like really swatched in bad places because they are so far up my arm. But that first shade is Ghostly. We have Starry Night, Compass, Arg, Black Pearl, and Yo Ho. Then that next shade that you can barely see is called Bones. Then Silver Mist, Treasure. Tail No Tails, Shiver Me, and that sparkly black is Compass. Then the white that is really, really pale on me that you can barely see is called Matey. The blue is Lost at Sea, Pirate's Chest, 
um, C. Hayes, which that shows up a lot more green on the eye than it does on my arm. The Black is Menace, and that last one that kind of transferred is called Silent Mary. Okay, so we're going to start with the face palette. And I did already contour, but I didn't put any bronzer on, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick up this brush. I'm going to go into that Lost Soul color. And this is going to be a bronzer on me, but for most people, you might have to wear it as a blush, because it is pretty light. Okay. Okay, so I'm not like blown away with the pigmentation, but it's pretty. They're pretty powdery though, so you just have to kind of like tap them off a little bit. It's pretty though. It's not bad. Sorry about that. I had to do a little bit of adjusting because I felt like it was way too close. And but now we're just gonna go back in and we're gonna take the blush color called Caribbean. Caribbean, however you want to say that. And I'm just gonna pick it up with this. Blush number seven brush. I have no idea where this is from. Honestly, it's probably from some like maybe old Walmart set or something. And I do really love this mirror. Okay, that's pretty. I like that. Just kind of subtle. Maybe a little bit patchy. That could also be the brush too though. that blush a lot actually it's really subtle and I'm not really into like really intense blushes so I do really love this mirror too it's like I don't want to blind you guys but it's like it's really big it's like the size of the pan the size of the pan the size of the packaging okay now for the highlight I definitely want to play with the fortune color just because it's so icy and that's like my favorite kind of highlight so I use this um I saw this glam small contour brush to highlight. It's the same one I always use. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Wow, that's intense. I would definitely recommend tapping your brush off before you use this. It's so pretty though. It reminds me of the um, Nicole Guerrero kit, the really icy white one in there. This one might be more powdery though that is so pretty you guys i really like this highlight like the bronzer i'm not thrilled with it's okay honestly it's probably more of a blush than it is a bronzer though but for me it's pretty bronzy but the blush was pretty good i like the blush and this highlight is super super pretty yeah i'm gonna be staring at myself in the mirror i'm sorry guys that's a really pretty highlight Okay, so let's move on to the eyeshadow. And I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do, but we're going to wing it. Okay, so I'm going to start with the eyeliner. And I've never tried Lorac eyeliner. Actually, I've never tried any Lorac palette, palettes, any Lorac products at all. So this is like a really big first impression. Um, this is just black eye pencil. It doesn't really have a name. It's just Lorac. Front of the line pro eyeliner pencil. So we're just gonna put that in the waterline. Okay. I'm gonna do the thing that you should never do, and I'm gonna tuck it my waterline. Just because that is super, super black, and I don't want it to get on my actual skin. That's really pretty though. It's really creamy. And it goes on really easily. Okay, I like that. And I think it's pretty cool to get like an eyeliner in here instead of a brush because like every palette ever comes with a brush. Okay, I have already kind of primed my eyes. I just use I just use concealer and uh, powder. So I have no idea where we're gonna start, but here we go. I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild fluffy brush and I'm gonna pick up Bones. I just hit the camera. Sorry, this is really hard to show you guys because it's so big. This Bones color right here, which is like the perfect transition shade. I'm going to move this eyeliner out, otherwise it's going to fall out. This palette is so 
cute. It's pretty though. It's subtle. Oh, I totally did not do my brows today. I really need to do that. Yeah, I really like this bones color. It's really subtle. And it's like the perfect starter transition shade. Like, I wouldn't just use this. I definitely am going to add some more into the crease. But I really like this to start. Or to blend other shadows out. This would be really pretty too. Okay. Now we're going to move on to Tell No Tale. Which is this darker brown right here. My hair. And we're going to take this Luxie Tapered Blending Brush and pick that up. And we're just going to get like a little bit because I don't want it to be like super dark. These are definitely not as powdery as the uh, face products were. Let's put that in the crease too. I like that. Oh. That was more pigmented than I wanted it to be. Oh, excuse my nails. They're dyed. Um, I decided to dye my hair purple for whatever reason. I don't know if you can tell in the dark. Well, you can tell right there for sure. But it's still wet because I just got out of the shower. But that's a choice I made. Don't really know how I feel about it. You guys will have to let me know. I'm going to get my hair done again on the 18th of May. You should let me know what you think I should do. I kind of want to dye my hair blue. Would that be too crazy? Yeah, these shadows are really beautiful. Like, I've never tried the rock shadows, as I already said, because I've never tried any of the rock products, but I really, really like these shadows. These are really good quality. They're so blendable. Like, I was kind of scared because I thought I put way too much in there, but it blends really well, so. Okay, what do we want to do for the actual eye look? Um... I think we're going to take, I don't know what I want to do guys, I think we're going to take this red shade right here, it's called Treasure, I'm going to pick that up on a Evolution BX80 brush, and we're going to put that all over the lid, this might be a bad idea, but, oh that's pretty, that's really pretty. I've noticed with a lot of these shades, they're kind of like, um, they're pigmented and they're intense, but, or not intense, they're pigmented, but they're like, understated kind of. Like this Bee Haze especially, like you look at that and you're like, that's going to be an intense green, but it's kind of got like a, like a washed out look, like a sea look, I guess. That's really pretty though, I like that a lot. Gonna keep building that up. We're gonna work it right up to the crease, but not in the crease. And the same on the other side. This like palette is so it's so big. It's kind of overly bulky. I don't know how I feel about the packaging. I mean it's super super pretty, but I don't know. It's kind of overly bulky. Definitely wouldn't be good for travel. I'm going to take that Luxie brush and go back and I'm going to mix, oops, just dropped the brush. I'm going to mix Bones and Tell No Tell is the two sh shades that we use in the crease. And then pop that back in the crease again. Because I feel like I didn't get as intense of a crease as I wanted. Yeah, that's better. Do it for the other eye. I really really like these shadows guys like these are really pretty the face palette honestly I like but it's not as good as the eyeshadow palette okay now we're going to take ARG this dark coppery brown <laughs> me in the mirror and we're going to put that in the outer corner with I don't know what brush we're going to use 
we're gonna use the shadow crease duet brush i really feel like i should know these brushes better right now because i use the same brushes in like every video and we're gonna just put that in the outer corner into the crease a little bit but not too much Yeah, that's really pretty. This look is definitely going a little more smoky than I intended to do, but I'm okay with that because it's still really pretty. Okay, I feel like I need to go back in with that treasure color just a little bit after doing that because it got a little bit lost. I'm just going to pack that right over top of it where we already put it. Okay, and then I kind of want to take this Menace color, it's just like a slate gray black color, and we're just going to use this little Modern Minerals You Are Gorgeous brush, and it's just like a really small pointed brush, and we're just going to barely tap into that, like barely, and put that right in the outer V, just like really, really finely, just to give it a little bit more dimension. I like that. Okay. I feel like I keep like looking back and forth because things look different in the mirror than they do in the camera. Oh my hair. I literally just took a shower and just started filming because I was just like, I don't have time <laughs> to do my hair. Okay. For the lower lash line, I kind of want to use this blue. That might be a little much, but I'm going to do it anyway because that's how I like. Um, where is my brush? Okay, I'm going to use this brush. This is, I don't know what this is. I think this came in an Ulta kit. This blue is called Starry Night, if I didn't see that already. Oh, wow. So pigmented. Oh, I put it in my eye. Don't put these shadows in your eyes because they burn a lot. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay. I say okay way too much. Mm, I'm kind of glad I did that. I really like it. Build up just a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the same brush and pick up Bones, that original crease color, and mix it in there just to smooth it out. Okay, now I'm still saying okay, I'm sorry guys. This is the um, brush that came with the Miss Jen Fabulous palette from Ulta. I'm going to pick up... Mm, what does Ghostly look like? Is that shimmery? No, that's not shimmery. Okay, we're going to pick up Shiver Me. That, and put it on the brow bone. That's not bad. I really am into a really intense brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight, and this is just not doing it for me, but it's not bad. It's still pretty. Like, if you like an understatement, well, I do not know why, but I feel like every shadow that I use shows up so much better on my inner corner than it does on my brow bone. Let me know if you guys are the same way. So I feel like that looks so much more intense right there than it does on my brow bone. It's kind of annoying. Same thing over here, picking up that Shiver Me color. Did I show you it? I did not. It's right here, next to the sparkly black one, which is called Cursed. Okay, I'm 
That's really pretty. That's the finished eyeshadow look, and I'm going to finish my makeup up right, really quick and be right back. Okay, so this is the finished look. You have to let me know down below what you guys think. I really like it. I'm not completely in love with the face palette. Like, the bronzer was okay. Like, again, when I said those, would probably be a blush for most people. The blush is pretty, but it's not my favorite. And this highlight is gorgeous. And this one's really pretty, too. This would be really pretty on dark skin. And I need to play with these two more. But. So I'm going to say if you want to get one or the other, go for the eyeshadow palette over this one. But this is still pretty. And if you're into Pirates of the Caribbean, you'll love this. And the eyeshadow palette, I absolutely adore. Like, it's really pretty. The shadows are super, super buttery. They're a little chalky, which doesn't really make sense because they're really buttery. But <laughs> they do have a little bit of fallout. But if you tap your brush off first, then it'll be fine. I think they're really pretty and super blendable. So, yeah. Let me know down below what you guys think of this look. And if you've tried these products too. And what you guys want to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. Bye guys.